Bree, Vicky was telling me during the break, it is so hot outside, she hasn't even had a <laughs> pumpkin spice latte yet. I know, it's too hot. It, it seems foreign. <laughs> it's so hot out. <laughs> Say, I always get donuts for my kids on Friday, and the Dunkin' Donuts has pumpkin the spice pumpkin, munchkins yeah. and all kinds, and it's like, I can't even get into it. I was super excited <laughs> to see 80s in the forecast. I know. That's so hot. It's kind of cool. And that's still warm yeah. for this time of year. Normal high, 82. Doesn't that sound nice? I could get into pumpkin spice with 82, and we're not doing that. We added another 90 degree day to our tally. That means we have 100% secured the number two spot for most 90 degree days in a year. 1954 still holding strong at 96 times. It's not impossible that we could see eight more days. Long range computer models continue to keep us very warm and very dry. No rain recorded in Lebanon, 87 right now. That's been the top temperature there today. Dixon coming in at 88. We're sitting at 91 right now in Nashville. So of course, all of the cement, all the concrete downtown, that also helps to shoot high temperatures up uh, during the afternoon hours. 91, the top temperature for today. We're actually at 90 right now currently. There are a few showers and storms near the Memphis area, and this might get you feeling hopeful, thinking, could that make it into our neck of the woods? Unfortunately, no. These are nearly stationary, and they're actually uh, being influenced somewhat by what's left over from Imelda. So Imelda came on shore in Texas two days ago as a tropical storm, and it has brought historic rain from a system that was not very strong once it came on shore. It has not moved much, and there are parts of the East Texas area, especially along the Louisiana border, that have seen 30 to 40 inches of rain. Historic flooding happening in parts of the Lone Star State, while here in Tennessee, again, our story is polar opposites dry, not even a tiny little pinprick shower to speak of out there this afternoon, and we won't see any tonight either. 68, another dry night, so at least easy, quiet weather to get you out the door to end your work week, you and the kiddos. 89, so no, not forecasting a 90 degree day tomorrow, but by the hair of our chinny chin chin, we will be awfully close. Same thing as we head into Saturday, Sunday, which is your last official weekend of summer. Fall officially starting on Monday, 86. Again, not quite pumpkin spice, but we'll take what we can get, especially compared to where we've been. This is the first time I've been able to make a seven day forecast that didn't have a 90 degree day in it in quite some time. Not impossible since we'll be very close to it, Chris, but it does look like some slightly cooler air wants to slide in for next week.